hey y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel and uh, if you're new here please subscribe to my channel it support me well uh, today we are going to be talking about the devil lottery 2024 yeah i know that some people they get uh confused why we say about how why we call it uh 2024 and not 2023 uh, first thing first, uh, they normally call it a uh, 2024 because uh, once you apply this year, uh, this is 2022. Uh, so once you apply this year, like that is next month, uh, the coming month, uh, you will get selected. Uh, you will get the results back uh, next year in May, that the first week of May, probably second, third uh, from there. So you'll get the first uh, the results uh, back uh, the first week of the May and you don't get a schedule or you don't get um, from there you have to prepare like uh, those people that are going for the interview they are the ones that applied uh, last year uh, that is in 2021 and when they were applying them they were 2024 uh, because uh, once you apply here like this year uh, in 2022 uh the um, the interview for the <clears throat> once you get selected uh those that get selected um they will start the interview on the fiscal year and their fiscal year the fiscal year starting uh from october 1st uh to 30th september the following year so that is next year from next year 20 23rd uh october 1st uh it will go through october 1st 2023 to 30th uh september 2024 so that's why they call it uh dv lottery 2024 uh yeah that's the main reason why they call it as i had somebody ask me at, say that i was confusing them because i was saying 2024 so i think i've tackled that okay so i just want to uh, talk more about the dv lottery as i had said before and what i really want to share is uh what you need to avoid uh during uh the application that way to i don't want to say to increase your chances of winning uh but to increase your chances uh for getting the visa once you get selected uh, or to avoid you being denied or your case once you get selected to avoid you being uh, denied or your case being cancelled so there are things that you need to know uh, there are things that you need uh, to avoid so number one uh, is that your photo uh when they say it's a requirement and the requirement should it's a strict one they say that the photo should be uh not uh less than six months old they don't want you to use an old photo for instance they don't if i'm applying they don't want me to use my high school uh passport the one the passport that i, that I was getting a uh, uh, for my admission when I was joining Form 1 or the passport that I used when I was going to boarding school when I was in primary or when you are joining maybe college or or whatever. Something that is less than, uh, more than six months old, they don't want you to know. How do they know that this is photo, this photo is old? I don't know. Some people, they don't change. Some people, there's like a drastic change that you can tell. Some people, they change so much, like even by the time there there is application and they get selected there's so much change between them so they to avoid that confusion and stuff like that uh they want you to use like the most recent uh photo that you can get and if it's possible even just take a photo that is for that specific purpose and i'm saying this because let's say for instance you, you have just uh finished or completed your high school you look so young some people they look uh, they change so much like some they get plumpier some they they pimp themselves and stuff like that they start working and stuff like that so some people they change so much so if it's better for you if it's possible take a photo just go take a passport photo 
uh, for just for that purpose that's something that is less than a month old or even a week even that day or that week that you're applying uh, that you're planning to uh, to submit your application just take your photo you can take a photo by yourself or you can go to any studio uh, and have your photo taken and then you request them to send uh, the photo like soft copy on your phone or through email or stuff like that whereby you can easily access it number two a thing that you should avoid avoid submitting to application uh, some people they say they want to increase their chances of application of being selected please that's the greatest mistake that you can do submitting to application that's cheating and they consider it as a cheating so even if you get selected in one application and then the other one you don't get selected uh, you, uh, they will cancel the one that you have selected or even if you get selected in both you get lucky and you get selected in both application they will cancel both of you they want the whole process to be fair for everyone so they want just and fair so and if it's this it's i don't want to say it's a gambling but this is a lottery so if you had 10 of you that are participating in a game and each one of, of you yeah maybe it's something that you're supposed to win maybe let's say money or something and they there's those tiny papers that they put and whichever paper you pick uh maybe whatever amount uh, it's written on that paper or maybe one paper has the winner so what they say is this they want like your 10 of you and there's uh, 10 papers there or there are maybe 20 papers there but they want each one of you each one of you to pick one so if you select you you pick two papers that mean you you are getting two chances and that's cheating so they don't encourage cheating they want everything to be fair so submit one application if you want to submit to application the only people that can do to application are this category if you're married uh, you and your partner you can submit to application that is your partner your husband or your wife your partner can submit application as the primary applicant and put you there as a beneficiary if you have kids so you and the kids will be beneficiaries and then the second application is this let's say for instance the first one was uh, uh, the application one was the husband so the husband when was uh, was applying he includes the wife and the kids as applicants as a um, beneficiary and then when the wife is applying uh, she applies as a primary applicant and include uh, the husband and the kids as applicants that's the only way and that's the only category you can submit to application because you see the primary applicant here is different the first application was husband the second application was wife that's the only way you can do you can submit that and that one like literally that's not like a double um, that's not like double submission and i'm going back to my example for instance you are 10 of you here and you have papers like it's a some uh one of the win, uh, one of the participants will win like maybe amount a certain amount of money or something and there's like 20 papers that have been written something and one paper has the winner so if there are 10 of you and you are there as husband and wife and then eight eight other people but each one of you will pick one 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 so in at this uh, it's either husband win or the wife win and you see they're individual because you cannot say because it's husband and wife they're one thing no now here it's like that it's like they want probability to be even for everyone they don't want uh, uh number one or somebody here to have a probability of two over maybe there was a hundred uh, maybe there was like three million or five million applicants they, they don't want it to be like somebody to have two over five million or less somebody else is having one over five million they want it to be equal for everyone 
the other thing you papers there or there are maybe 20 papers there but they want each one of you each one of you to pick one so if you select you you pick two papers that mean you you are getting two chances and that's cheating so they don't encourage cheating they want everything to be fair so submit one application if you want to submit two application the only people that can do two application are this category if you're married uh you and your partner you can submit to application that is your partner your husband or your wife your partner can submit application as the primary applicant and put you there as a beneficiary if you have kids so you and the kids will be beneficiaries and then the second application is this let's say for instance the first one was uh, uh, the application one was the husband so the husband when was uh, was applying he includes the wife and the kids as applicants as a um, beneficiary and then when the wife is applying uh, she applies as a primary applicant and include uh, the husband and the kids as applicants that's the only way and that's the only category you can submit to application because you see the primary applicant here is different the first application was husband the second application was wife that's the only way you can do you can submit that and that one like literally that's not like a double um, that's not like double submission and I'm going back to my example. For instance, you are 10 of you here and you have papers like it's a, some, uh, one of the, uh, one of the participants will win like maybe amount, a certain amount of money or something. And there's like 20 papers that have been written something and one paper has the winner. So if there are 10 of you and you are there as husband and wife and then eight, eight other people, but each one of you will pick one 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 so in at this uh it's either husband win or the wife win and you see the individual because you cannot say because it's husband and wife they're one thing no now here it's like that it's like they want probability to be even for everyone they don't want uh, uh number one or somebody here to have a probability of two over maybe there was a hundred uh, maybe there was like 3 million or 5 million applicants. They, they don't want it to be like somebody to have 2 over 5 million. While less, somebody else is having 1 over 5 million. They want it to be equal for everyone. The other thing you need to do, I said, the first the first one I said, photo, your photo needs to be new. And then the other, the other one I said, um, do not uh, submit a double application and then the other one is that uh do not like if you can submit it, if you can do the selection um submit the application for yourself do it do it do it do not use like other people especially people that you don't you do not know them on a personal level like using like agencies there are some agencies that they do the application some cybers they say that they do application for you uh if you can if you can be able to avoid that having a benefit uh, having um middleman they are katikati the middleman like it's you are doing up uh, somebody doing an application for you try as much as you can because it's not everybody out there that wants the best for you some uh, they may apply for you and then they don't even give you your confirmation number or stuff like that and then once you get uh, selected they start manipulating you uh, maybe uh, they want once you get selected now they want you to and maybe when you, initially when you are doing the application you you will say that you were single um, now they want you to attach somebody here like to say that you are married and now they they are bringing a husband or a wife for you and you know when you go th uh, through the interview they are so thorough and they are so clean and they uh they are so thorough they go through the documentation and stuff like that they even try to 
uh, to to go behind <laughs> like you are before life before you applied and stuff like that and so it's so easy for you to be to say no 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 this this one is cheating and you get denied uh denied the application and you might even and if in that case you might even be denied or you you may be asked not to do not to do to submit application in future in future application so please do not do that the other one is the kind of the information like i can say whatever information that you provide there be consistent say nothing but the truth if you have not uh, completed your high school, do not, do not apply, unless, unless, unless by the time you are, you are uh, the the results will be out, you will have your, uh, you will have completed your high school because the minimum requirement for for DV application, the the minimum education is high school, so if you're in form three, I don't see why you should apply because by the time the results they are out you will not have completed your high school but if you inform for that's okay because uh you can you are you just have like two months for you to complete your high school i don't know right now back home how when they do their uh, their the exam since everything was changed uh changed due to covid but uh, as a candidate, I think you can do it because by the time the results are out and stuff like that, you will have completed your uh, your high schools and the results will be out. Another thing is like be consistent with your information. Provide uh, provide the right information. Do not lie. Like because once you lie, you may not you may f not remember what you said or what you fill in in your form and then when it comes to ds260 when you are filling in that form you forget what uh you had a uh, filling in the previous one so there's no consistent information just put the right information there uh the right names the name the official name that you use the official name that is in your birth certificate the official name that is in your id the official name that is in your Mm, documents like your results uh certificate high school certificate in your documents unless you have issues with your names then there you can try and it's, uh, when it comes to changing names in your um, education certificates it's a little bit hard especially with the neck i know that one it's it's costly and it's and it takes so much time for them to change uh, to change it so at times you might be forced to to, to swear a redavid or stuff like that but use the right names use the right information make sure that whatever you are filling you are filling in the right information you can double check the information you make sure that you spell the names the way they are supposed to they are supposed to be though you can correct in the ds260 but you don't want to keep on like opening uh uh trying to say or trying to rectify here and there so try to be consistent with the information that you provide another thing is trust the process everything is transparent so it's, there's nothing much that you can do because the kind of the information you're providing here it's it's not that much information they're just asking for basic information uh, your names uh blade of uh birth year place of birth uh highest level of education and your parents uh that's it they're not asking any personal like information whether you are sick or whether you are healthy what what's your hobbies what one they, they don't go deep into that so it's something so simple so basic like so do it and that's why i always say apply for yourself that doesn't mean that uh, if you want me to help. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So I'm showing you too much of Mm. Just 
up a little bit for them. 